The richest footballer in the world isn't even on FIFA. Whoa. See, the game has evolved over the years, and now the best ballers in the world copy huge bags of green. Enormous signing on fee of approximately 100 million pounds. Even with all that money, some dudes are still a cut above the rest. So I just had to make a list of the 10 richest footballers in the world. And number one will leave you stunned. But first up is my homie, Sergio Ramos. Sergio Ramos is an icon of the game, man. Dude's supposed to be a center back, but he's banging in more goals than center forwards. Ramos started his career at Sevilla, but after impressing at the youth team and Spain's under-21s, Real Madrid splashed the cash and copped him for a then world of 27 million euros, making him the most expensive Spanish defender ever. Ramos spent 16 seasons at Madrid, and all through the years, he became so good, he got huge paychecks and splashed the dough on some mega exclusives. Ramos's car collection is insane. The guy's got a Mercedes AMG G63 and an Audi R8 Spider. But these two don't even touch the most expensive car in my man's garage, a $203,000, 3.8-liter, twin-turbocharged Porsche 911 Turbo S. Cars ain't the only thing Ramos has been spending his dough on too, because back in 2015, he purchased a luxurious real estate property worth 6.5 million euros back in Madrid. But this ain't even the most expensive property. Before even confirming his move to Madrid, Ramos copped a one and a half square mansion in Neuilly sur seine Now this crib used to belong to his teammate Neymar. So to get it off his hands, Ramos legit spent almost double the amount on his Madrid home with 12 million euros on this one. And the place is the spot. It's got over 20 bedrooms, a warm water swimming pool, a wine cellar, a gym, a recreational zone, a home theater, and many garages. In total, Ramos's estimated worth is $80 million. This is because, apart from his weekly salary, Ramos is also a sponsor for mega brands like Gatorade, Hugo Boss, Adidas, and Pepsi. Damn, Ramos be living the life. See, Ramos is all about that flashy lifestyle and fast life. But when it gets down to Andres Inista, dude just wants to chill and spend clean. Andre Inista is a magician. I mean, seriously, the stuff this guy pulls out on a football pitch, it looks unreal. Anista spent many years in Barcelona and won so many trophies with them and for the national team. He helped Spain do the impossible by scoring the winning goal in the 2010 World Cup final. Andres Iniesta has broken Dutch hearts. All through the years, Iniesta's net worth has risen big time, from his humble beginnings at La Masaya to becoming a global superstar. But Anista doesn't like the spotlight that much and prefers to keep his business on the low. But that don't mean the magician doesn't ball out now. Anista spent over 5 million euros on copying a crib in Fuentebila in his native Spain, but only because this place meant so much to him. See, Anista grew up here as a kid, and after winning the World Cup for his country, the natives decided to erect a bronze statue in his honor. So Anista decided living here would be nice, you know? But he wasn't just going to walk to his crib. Nah, Anista probably owns one of the most unique car garages in the world. Not just because of the cars in there, but how he got them. See, the majority of the cars Anista owns have been through endorsement deal. Whoa, due to signing papers, getting paid, and bagging cars too. Anista owns a couple of Audis and a Range Rover, but there's one particular car brand he's so obsessed with, he's spending millions. Anista legit owns a $2.25 million Bugatti Veyron exclusive. He copped this piece in 2014 and looking at the specs on that thing, it's like a super sweet deal. The Veyron has an eight liter engine with quad turbochargers and can hit zero to 60 miles per hour in just 2.4 seconds. On his Instagram, Anista loves posting pictures of his vacation photos, getting tanned and getting paid. Despite giving to charity, organizations such as UNICEF Anista maintains a net worth of $90 million. Impressive, but it's still a couple of million off this next dude, Eden Hazard. When Eden Hazard joined Real Madrid in 2019, he had all heads turning, and I ain't talking about the fans too, but his bank account managers, because dude was about to become super rich. 
Hazard was a sensation at Chelsea, and after seven years, Real Madrid decided to cop his signature and make him the most expensive Galacto ever for $100 million. Unfortunately for Hazard, the injuries have played a huge part in ruining his career at Madrid, man. At this point, Dude has been injured more times than he has played matches for the club. But that doesn't mean the money has stopped flowing for the Belgian wizard. He's the highest paid player at the club. Hazard lives on a $1.1 million mansion in the city that comes with a unique feature too. His house even has glass doors and super cool garages. His car collection is pretty neat. An Audi RV8 worth $110,000. An Audi RS4 Avant at $74,000 and an Aston Martin Vanquish that costs a whopping $300,000. And since it's owned by Hazard, he'd definitely be having his customizations on it, so it's worth more than that. Hazard's net worth from his playing salary and endorsement deals has him at $100 million. Not bad, but it ain't Superfly, nah. No one hits it like La Pioche. Paul Pogba. Pogba has been raking in the millions from his time in Manchester United to Juventus. In 2016, Pogba rejoined United in the world record transfer of $89 million. And with that new paycheck, he unlocked a whole new level of spending. Pogba absolutely loves supercars, and his car collection is up a staggering $1.6 million. He's got a $271,000 Lamborghini Aventador, which can hit 62 miles per hour in just three seconds a $260,000 Ferrari 812 Superfast when he's got to hit the need for speed. But the most expensive car in his garage is his Rolls-Royce Wraith Black Badge, valued at $290,000. After Pogba signed for United, he spent a couple of months in the Lowry Hotel, but then he figured it was time he got a new crib. He bagged the Pog Pad. Look at that baby. It has a stunning swimming pool, plus a steam room, a changing area, a giant kitchen. Hang on. It's like I'm reading off a list and I'm still not done. Five bedrooms. Dude bagged a hotel and turned it into the Pog crib. Pogba has a couple of sponsorship deals in the bag, but the main deal is with Adidas. Pogba lives in a super flash lifestyle and it's so crazy, he even has his own brand of emojis, the Pogba G. Come on, bro. With all his crazy spending, top of Pogba's list is his big bird in the sky. Pogba's private jet is one of the best in the world. The Gulfstream G280 costs between $14.64 million and $18.4 million and can comfortably house up to 10 passengers. With a net worth of $125 million, La Pioche, you're the man. But you ain't racking up FIFA covers like my boy Mbappé. Hilian Mbappé is a beast. He's only 24, but has already won the World Cup. Mbappé has been so good, he's been FIFA's cover boy for three years in a row. Last summer, despite all the links with Real Madrid, uh, but no, <laughs> no. Mbappe signed a three-year mega deal that made him become the highest paid baller in Europe. With his new contract all tied up, Mbappe decided it was time he changed a couple of things, hit the dealers, and took the spending game to a whole new level. He switched up his crib and bought a $9 million mansion in the city of Paris with an iconic view of the Eiffel Tower. The place also has a gym, a swimming pool, and a cinema, so he can watch all the videos on Mr. Football and hit the subscribe button just like you did. Big flex. When it comes to wheels, just like his 99 pace on FIFA, Mbappe ain't no slouch. Dude owns a Ferrari, a Porsche, and even a Mercedes-Benz. In addition to his huge salary at PSG, Mbappe has a couple of sponsorship deals with mega brands like Nike, EA Sports, and Hublot. And yeah, he's also got his own clothing line. Mbappe's net worth is estimated at $150 million, big bucks and a big flex. Mbappe's just trying to be like his model and the next guy in this list, Zlatan. Zlatan is football and football is Zlatan. At least that's what he thinks. Zlatan Ibrahimovic is a royalty man. The dude's been playing longer than most young ballers were born. Ibrahimovic has represented some of the effing best clubs in the world, from Inter Milan to AC Milan, Juventus, Barcelona, PSG, Manchester United, and even LA Galaxy. Zlatan has racked up the big bags of green. Zlatan has several luxury properties in his name, with a villa in Malmo, a penthouse in Paris, and even a mansion in Beverly Hills. I've got to be friends with this dude. His luxury car collection is top gear too. He's got a Lamborghini Aventador, a Ferrari Enzo, and an Audi. 
The dude's so sleek, he's even got a super motorcycle, a Harley Davidson. Apart from the salary he's got playing over the years, Zlatan is a sponsor for some of the top brands in the world, like Gucci, Versace, and even Tom Ford. In total, Zlatan's net worth is estimated at $195 million. But now, it's time to get rolling with the big boys. When it comes to living rich and earning rich, no one does it better than the Brazilian party animal and samba king, Neymar. Ever since he burst onto the scene as a young kid from Santos, Neymar's rise to fame has been meteoric, just like his paychecks. PSG signed Neymar for 222 million euros to become the most expensive transfer in the world. Oh, and yeah, he also got a $36 million paycheck. The thing is, Neymar's been balling out even when he was at Santos, man. I mean, the dude copped an $8 million yacht and named it after his mom. At 19, Neymar signed an 11-year contract that had him earning almost $25 million per year. When it comes to luxury cars, Neymar knows how to ball out too. He drives an Audi RS7, a Ferrari 459 Italia, a Lamborghini Venio, and an Aston Martin Vulcan. But above all that, Neymar has one secret purchase that has him on an exclusive list. Neymar is just one of three sports athletes to own two private jets, a Cessna Citation 680 and a Phenom 100. Neymar's net worth is up to $200 million. Whoa! But it's still ain't enough to get him into the top three because up next is La Pulga himself. Lionel Messi is the GOAT. After winning the World Cup with Argentina last year, Messi's already completed football. But before that, he set another huge milestone. After Barker had an economic meltdown in 2021, they had to let Messi go as a free agent. Messi ended up joining PSG in a deal worth $35 million. Messi prefers to keep a simple life and keep it low key with his wife and kids, but that doesn't mean he can't fall out. After Messi won his third Ballon d'Or in 2012, he copped his first mansion in Barcelona worth $9 million. Even the government airplanes couldn't fly across them. But after moving to Paris, Messi knew he needed to find the perfect crib for his kids, so he whipped up $30 million and bagged a freaking French mansion. The place has 30 rooms, multiple garages, an indoor swimming pool, and a cinema room. When it comes to cars, Messi's a collector, man. He's got over 12 cars in his garage, a $55,000 Audi Q7 SUV, a $184,000 Range Rover Vogue, and a $240,000 Maserati Grand Silver. But the most expensive car in his garage is out of this world. Back in 2016, Messi heard that his favorite car, the 1957 Ferrari 335 S Spider, was up for sale, and he was super excited. See, Messi had been searching for this car for years, and now he finally had it. All he needed to do was pull up on the spot and cop it. But his biggest rival, Cristiano Ronaldo, was also in the bid too. And in an epic car war, Messi splashed $30 million to bag home his masterpiece. Damn, Messi spending $30 million on a car must have pissed off CR7. CR7 is a legend. Apart from being the baller with the most official goals in football history, Ronaldo's also the most followed dude on the planet, with over 500 million followers on Instagram. In January, Ronaldo completed a record-breaking move to join Al Nasser, which made him become the highest paid athlete of all time. Dude legit earns $214 million a year. What the hell? When it comes to a luxury life, Ronaldo is the standard man. He's got so many cars he probably can't count. Ronaldo has an incredible car collection that has been spending over $50 million on luxury wheels. A $379,000 Lamborghini Aventador, a $410,000 2011 Ferrari 599 GTO, a $2 million Bugatti Veyron Grand Sport Vitesse, and an $8.9 million 2022 Bugatti Santidosi. Now, Ronaldo's Bugatti is so exclusive. Ronaldo, just like the Mega Ballers, also has his own private jet, a custom Gulfstream G200, and even has his own yacht, the Azimut Grande 27 Metri, that cost him 6 million euro dollars. Ronaldo's net worth is 500 million dollars, and I know what you're thinking. If 500 million isn't the top, then who the hell is? Well, this next dude is a shocker. Baik Bolka. Yep, I'm not sure if you've heard of this dude in the past, but here's the deal. Baik Bolka, who once had stints at, at Leicester City and Maritimo, is the richest footballer in the world, with a 13 billion pound net worth. Whoa. 
See, it's all because Farik is one of the heirs to the Brunei throne. Faik started out at Chelsea, but after failing to impress at both the London club, Leicester and Maritimo, he made the switch to the Thai League and now reps Chernbury in the Thai League One. But Faik's career so far just goes to prove that money can't buy success in the game. From Ronaldo to Messi and even Neymar, the top ballers in the world have dated celebrity women. Click the next video to find out who.